Most of the initial adjustments must be made soon after material is fed onto the deck. Therefore, it is a good idea to preset the slope and tilt of your machine using the recommended adjustments listed in your operator's manual on page 11. During startup, close all cutout gates on the high side of the deck. Open the feeder slightly and allow a thin stream of material to flow onto the deck. After there is a small amount of material on the deck, adjust the eccentric speed so that material begins to flow toward the high side of the deck. Open the number one and number two fans completely to allow maximum air at the feed end of the deck. As the deck fills, reduce the air on the first two fans to the preset adjustments listed in the operator's manual. Once the deck is completely covered, begin adjusting the fans to balance the airflow, beginning with the fan at the discharge end of the machine. Increase the air until you see a definite boiling action. From this point, reduce the air until the bubbling almost stops, leaving the product bed in a fluid condition in the zone over the fan. Move to each consecutive fan, repeating the same procedure. Balance the air twice to get the best separation. After a good air pattern has been established, observe the depth of material across the discharge end of the deck. The material surface should be uniform with the depth of the high side two to three times as deep as on the low side. If the bed is too deep on the high side, increase the tilt. If the material is too thin on the high side, reduce the tilt. Vibration or eccentric speed agitates the product so it can be fluidized more completely by the airflow. If speed is too slow, the product will not be properly fluidized and poor separation will result. If the speed is too fast, the product will be put into a turbulent situation. Vibration is used as the separating factor by converting the vertically stratified bed into a horizontally graded product. When operating within the range required for proper fluidization, increasing the speed moves the material to the high side of the deck. Decreasing the speed moves the product toward the low side of the deck. Check the slope of the deck. The depth of material at the feed end should be two to three times greater than that at the discharge end. If the bed of material is too deep, the slope should be increased by pushing the slope lever. This will cause the material to flow away from the feed end faster. If the bed of material is too thin, decrease the slope to retain material at the feed end longer. Once a quality separation is established, begin increasing capacity. Alternately, increase the feed rate and the deck slope until you reach the point where the required separation cannot be maintained. The air may have to be increased slightly to compensate for the thicker bed of material. It is possible to increase capacity even more by opening the cutout gates along the high side of the deck. As you allow product to discharge into the blender, you can increase the feed by a corresponding amount. After making adjustments to the cutout gates, go through the air balancing procedure. Always remember that capacity and quality offset one another. Therefore, if the separation quality does not meet standards, lower the capacity of the machine. Many customers ask us how to determine when they are getting the most from their gravity table. The best method to determine the effectiveness of a gravity is to weigh a like volume of material taken from locations along the deck's discharge end. Determine the bulk density of the light and heavy product. The gravity should be set to obtain the maximum weight difference between the light and heavy products. The most positive method of testing, if processing an agricultural commodity, is the use of a U.S. standard weight per bushel tester but any container of known volume will work. The test weights of the heavy, middle, and light fractions should be recorded along with the machine settings to obtain them. Any other information, for instance, seed germination and vigor data, particle size variation, mixture percentages, etc., should be recorded with the test weights. This gives you a written record of the operation of your machine for future reference or analysis. 
most operators can get acceptable separations after working with their machines for a few minutes. However, in some cases, even experienced operators run into problems they cannot solve. Many expect results too soon. When an adjustment is made, wait two to five minutes before deciding whether it has made any improvement. Because of the volume of material on the deck, a certain amount of time is required for the entire deck surface to adjust to the new conditions. Also, make only one adjustment at a time. For help, click on Frequently Asked Questions.